Hey, welcome to the shop. Today we're going to work on welding a coped or notched joint on some thinner walled aluminum tubing. Uh, this is in response to a question from one of the subscribers in my online courses. And I think there's a lot to unpack and talk about here that could be helpful to a lot of people. So I'm making a whole video about it rather than just replying to his question uh, with all the details. I'm going to go ahead and cut some short lengths with an aluminum blade here on the chop saw. Now this is 1 16th of an inch or one and a half millimeter uh, wall thickness, one inch diameter tubing, which is pretty similar to what uh, he is using. And he's notching it with a Harbor Freight tubing notcher. So I'm going to follow suit here. A little bit of anchor lube will help out a lot with anything that uh, you're cutting. Some cutting fluids always pretty helpful. And then I'll start off slow. And once it's uh, started, just crank right on through. Now these 3D printed templates, or you can print out paper templates and hand notch with a die grinder. I prefer to do that because you just have less cleanup in the end when you uh, do it that way, but this will work. Now at face value, this looks like it fits uh, together pretty good. Um, and it does, but uh, it's a little bit off of square and it's really difficult to get these little, uh, at least the cheap ones dialed in real square. So you'd need to take like a die grinder and take out a little bit of material there to square it up. And usually if you're trying to hit a length, that means that you'll have to go just a little long and do that anyway. So at that point you might as well just notch it by hand with a die grinder anyway. But uh, the other thing that I don't like on these notch joints is how the end here comes down to that fine point. I don't like that very well uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it doesn't really give anywhere for your weld to go in there and to fill in. And two, when you taper down, especially on this side with this longer, kind of like a burr, um, that thinner material is just asking for a lot of contamination. So I'm going to go ahead and just face these edges off here to make them square to the tubing. This is how I like them to fit with those faced edges. It just makes it a lot better and cleaner uh, when you weld it. Now I'll clean everything off with a little bit of solvent. Uh, this material is pretty clean and new anyway, but uh, not a bad practice. So I set my machine at 100 amps. I actually wished I had a little bit more once I got into it, but uh, we made do. And then frequency right around 120 hertz and a balance of 75%. So we're going to focus a lot on tacking because that's what he was struggling with the most. And so the technique here is to start, ease on the pedal with the tungsten biased towards that flat side, and then move in towards the edge till you see a puddle on both sides and then dab with some filler metal just to uh, bridge that gap and fill it in. So let me show you how that looks. So I'll start there over on the flat side and I'll just wait until I see a little bit of a shine. So I'm just easing on the pedal and I see that puddle on both sides. That's when I release. Let me show you that one more time right here. We'll ease on and uh, position until I get it on both sides, add a little filler to bridge the gap and we're done. Let me show you what can happen if your arc length gets long. So right here, um, with a long arc length, notice how it just blobs off the end. I, I don't want that to happen. So that's why you want to keep your arc length short and you'll get a nice tack like that one right there. Um, that right there is where it blobbed in. So let's go ahead and show you here in this fillet down in the corner. It's the same technique. I'll start back on the uh, flat portion and then move in towards the edge and add just a little bit of filler metal. Once it's bridged, I'll just hold it there to let everything smooth out and let off. So let me show you under the hood here what that looks like. So I'm starting over there towards that flat side. Once I see a shine, add a little dab of filler metal and then let it uh, smooth out. And that's pretty much it. We'll just watch it one more time here to get the hang of it. Start there on the bottom. Let it pool, add some filler to bridge, and it's good. Now when it comes to actually welding this out, there's really not a lot to it, but notice I am pulsing the pedal just a little bit, varying my amperage. That just allows me to reposition. The hard part about this uh, small diameter coped joints is you just have to uh, change your position a lot. And so I tend to stop and start maybe a little more um, than most would, because I'm not welding the small tubing really very often. Um, but, you know, this is, is a way to, to be able to handle it just by pulsing the pedal, 
Um, going as far as you can comfortably while keeping the right arc length, torch angles, and travel speed. And then once you kind of reach the limit on that, then you can reposition once again and finish it out. So this is what I ended up with. Um, certainly not perfect, but acceptable for most things. And I hope this technique uh, helps you out. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you next time.